On today's episode on World Drive M, we are going to continue working on the 3 Series. I received a lot of parts, that's why this episode is sponsored by my bank. Like I've said in the intro, we have a lot of parts, a lot and a lot of parts. We have in there the new engine. I didn't even unpack this, I received this for uh, two days already. Uh, maybe we will find something wrong or maybe something good. Um, I received the cat, the exhaust, in fact, complete from the engine to the end with catalysator. Everything is in there, all the clamps, hardware stuff are all in there. Uh, these are the old parts and here I received some of the new parts from here. So we have the exhaust gasket, the intake gasket, the water flange, we have the seal for uh, the crankshaft, uh, for the gearboxes in here the seal, and the water flange, the other one that uh, is broken in, in here, we are going to replace this. See that, this one is broken. And uh, I just have to re uh, receive uh, some other gaskets, like the gasket for the vacuum pump, because it's right uh, in the back. I don't want to install the engine after that to have oil leak from there, so I'm going to replace all the gaskets all around on the engine, on the new engine. I've unpacked the engine and everything looks looks to be fine. I received the engine mounts in the, the meanwhile. We have almost all the sensors. The uh, cables are, the cable loom is cut of course, but we have the, the plugs, the coils in here. We have the Valvetronic motor in here as well. Uh, sadly, I've noticed that the vacuum pump is leaking and I already have the gaskets on order for that. Let's start by installing the new gasket for the gearbox. It's going to be tricky because of this shaft in here and because uh, outside, exactly in the front of my garage, uh, we have some construction uh, works in progress. I'm gonna try to use this pipe, something like this. Goes in there, it's a little bit too big, but maybe we are going to use this plate like that it's finally installed check this out perfectly installed in there all the way around
we have a problem boys I've uh, started disassembling everything because it won't fit the clutch and the flywheel that I received won't fit maybe it is going to fit in there on the crankshaft and stuff like that but um, you can see in here this is the new part and this is the old one check out the splines in there and check out on the new one it won't fit at all see that you can see now perfect now we have to wait another days uh, and basically I've started to notice uh, when I wanted to install the oh my god I forgot completely the name this part I've noticed that won't won't fit in here see that and we have to do something I think I'm going to reinstall this flywheel update time I uh, wanted to resurface the old um, flywheel but I couldn't find anyone in my area that could do this so I found somebody that um, could grind this and it's almost perfect you cannot feel anything but uh, we can still uh, see this line from uh, the clutch in fact not from the clutch from the screws that hold the clutch together um, but like i've said you cannot feel anything is like a shadow now we have a flywheel it's already installed i just have to wait to receive the proper clutch and uh, we are going to install the engine onto the car and of course we have another freaking problem check this out something is grinding in there maybe um, because the surface was uh, sanded something went in there I've tried like everything to clean everything to blow with air not a chance it's making this crazy noise and I cannot use this one so we have to order a new one and we have to take this one out while still waiting for the part I've installed a new thermostat and the water flange and this new hose as well and uh, I'm gonna update you when uh, I receive the flywheel and the clutch uh, why it takes so long sadly I have to close the video in here because we didn't receive the flywheel and the clutch and we cannot complete the engine assembly but in the next episode we are going to install the flywheel the clutch and we are going to plug the engine back into the car and I hope we can even start the car in the next episode so join me for the next episode if you want to see more progress on this car if you like this episode please give me a thumbs up if you don't like the video as usual thumbs down until next time see you later